everybody, today I will be teaching you how to make one of these things requested by the Maple Pegasus sister. Um, this is a little craft I made a while ago because I was bored. Um, instead of making a rainbow dash, I'll be making a Luna. And I have a Luna here for a reference. So, what you'll need. You probably want to have something to cover your table because it might be ruined because you're going to be using it. So, um, I suggest you put like a piece of paper on it. So what you'll need is a styrofoam ball of course, um, some scissors, a piece of paper, it can be colored if you want but I'm just using white paper. You also need some toothpick and you can use a paint palette if you want to. And you'll also need paint. So I'm using this, I got it from the dollar store and I have like a whole tub of paint. So I'm just gonna be using the closest colors I can get because I don't have that much colors and I have I only have this much so yeah but in case you're wondering I'm using peacock blue navy blue Copenhagen blue black and white and um, you'll need paint brushes and well a cup of water but if you're like me and you don't want to get a cup of water then I just use my paint palette and a spray bottle I, you don't have to have one, but it's just how I do things. So let's get started. So first, take your styrofoam ball and a toothpick. Um, you might want your parent to help you with this part because you might poke yourself. So in the middle, just poke a hole through it. I know that seems kind of weird, but just do it, Nike. <laughs> so just like that, so it looks sort of like it has two weird ears. I know it, you probably are thinking right now, what the heck is that for, but um, it's actually for the wings. You're going to attach some paper to it and paint over it. So um, we're going to be doing that later, so just attach it. So what you're going to do after that, so we're going to take our paintbrushes and our paint and paint the whole thing the color of the pony. So I'm going to take my biggest brush, which isn't too big actually. And I'm gonna get paint in. So I'm gonna paint it off camera right now because my camera is about to die and you probably don't wanna see me paint anyways. So just paint the whole thing and pause the video right now so you don't miss the next step. And I'll be back with this painting. So I sort of got frustrated with my paint because um, the brush, you could see the brush stroke. So what I did was, um, it's drying right now. I put some paint in there and I added some water and I just rolled it in there and now it's drying. That's why you have these tiny things first. You can hold on to that and not get your finger painted. Okay, so next we're gonna do the wings. So grab your piece of paper and let's get started. So. What you need is your piece of paper and a marker, or a pencil if you want to. So what you'll do is just draw a wing. And so it's like that. Next, what you'll need to do is fold it in half. So you fold it in half like this. And now, we cut it out. So once you're done that, what you need to do is paint it. So just grab your paintbrush and you don't have to paint the insides of it. You might want to go over the black lines again later on. Next, 
we'll be making the ears. So take your piece of paper again and we're going to reuse it because, well, that's good for the environment. So what you're going to do is just take part of your paper, it doesn't have to be a big section, and then just draw an ear. So just cut it like this. After done that, um, just paint over it. Next, you'll um reuse your piece of paper again. For this part, you'll have to unfold it. Find a corner of the paper and just roll it up until it seems like it looks sort of like a horn. but if you don't have any glue, then just use tape. And unfold it. Just put it here. Because I have no glue. I have no glue, glue, glue. I need to go shop for school supplies, supplies. You may need to use more than one piece of tape. Once the wings are dry, um, do the lines again with your marker or sharpener. So once you're done that, my camera died, so yeah. Um, you're gonna get some toothpicks, about two toothpicks, and cut them in half. And you're gonna get your tape or glue and just get a bit of tape in. So once you're done that, your ears should look like this. So once your horn is dried, um, just draw some lines and like a unicorn horn. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Cover it with tape. So, well, glue if it's your. And then. So, I'll do a horn later on. But, let's move on. So, um, next, what you'll need to do is just stick this in here. You know, like this. Okay, make sure it's facing the right way. Okay, this is, this is too close together. Right here. So once it's like that, um, then it's good. Next, what you'll need to do is get some tape. So this one should go here. Right. Now it should go here. So just tape it together like this. Don't tape the opening yet. So it should be... My camera's gonna die. So do this for both wings and then tape this onto the, um, you know, whatever it's called. I forgot what it's called. Too thick, yes. 
tape it onto the toothpick. And okay, I'm gonna try to do this faster. So gosh. Okay, um this one's going on. Okay, so I finally charged my thing. So make this is what I do with the tail. All I did was um, cut out a piece of paper or draw it first like this and then cut it out two, two pieces of it like fold it in half and then cut it and then I put one whole toothpick here as you can see here and I stick it in there and so far it looks like this pretty good the bottom is kind of weird but oh well you can't see it anyway. So next, what we'll do is um, paint the tail and the mane. So there's a lot of painting to do in this project. Okay, so use your paint stuff again. And for the um, mane and stuff, I'm using peacock blue. So let's do the tail first because, well, that's easier than doing the mane because I'm not drawing it with pencil. So, let's use our smallest brush. Take some peacock blue because Okay, so just gonna do something. I don't know why I'm singing. Oh my god, I just said it. Do something. Oh my god, do something. I don't know why I'm doing this, but oh wow. Okay, um. Okay, um. So that's how I do did Luna. Um, I hope yours turned out better than mine because mine turned out pretty bad. But oh well, I still love it anyways. I did the white part. It didn't turn out too well. But oh well, that's just how I do. So this is Luna and Rainbow Dash finally has a styrofoam ball friend. So yeah, yeah, so uh, you can tell the horn is totally different. So um, vote in the comments which one I did better. So this is Luna, this is Rainbow Dash, okay, back, and then, oh my god I can't twist it, from this side. So vote in the comments below which one I did better, and I'm for the wings I'm pretty sure Luna won, because I'm pretty sure the wings for her are better than her. Well this was my first one anyway, so yeah. I did 
Rainbow Dash slightly, slightly different than Luna's. So yeah. Well, that's all for today, and that's the tutorial requested by the Maple Pegasus sister. And yeah, less than three, the Maple Kitty.